गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग बेटा सो वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन नो यस सर ओके Yes. Can we start? Yes. Many of the students have not joined yet. I think we should start. Question seven: The selling price of twelve pens is rupees. Sorry, is not given. Is equal to the cost price of fifteen pens. So, what is given in the question? Selling price of twelve pens is equal to cost price of 15 pence the price is not given only a relation is given it means that you bought some amount of pence some number of pence sorry some number of pence you bought and the cost price of 15 pence that you bought jitne mein aapne 15 pence khareede the the price at which you bought 15 pence in the same price You sold only twelve pens. Of ne hir pen mein you sold twelve pens. That means you still have three pens extra, right? That means you will be having a profit. Three pen extra bach gaya na? Suppose you bought fifteen pens for rupees hundred. Okay. So in hundred rupees now you sold only twelve pens. That means you still have three pen extra with you. That means you are having a profit. so what is the profit percentage this is what you have to find out in the question so let us assume this only that let the price of 15 pens cost price of 15 pens be rupees 100 which is also the selling price of 12 pens so in the bracket you can write say say means assume karna let us assume that it is rupees 100 it is not given in the question we have assumed it okay we can assume any number we can assume x we can assume 1 rupee we can assume 1000 rupees whatever you like sir i was in 1 rupee sir i just tried it by myself when i sat on the group as and so okay. by myself so i don't know it is correct or not but i will just check it so in this question we know the cp of 15 pence is rupees 100 Now, what is the SP of twelve pence? It, that is also rupees hundred. SP of twelve pence is rupees hundred. What will be the SP of one pen? Hundred upon twelve unitary method. And why are we doing this? Because we want to find the SP of fifteen pence. SP of fifteen pence hundred upon twelve into fifteen. When you simplify, yes, divide by three, right? Three upon twelve and into hundred. Here, when you divide hundred by four, you get twenty-five. So that means rupees one twenty-five. This is the selling price of fifteen pence. We know the cost price of fifteen pence now, hundred rupees. You can see here. We know the cost price of fifteen pence. कितना है hundred rupees. We also know the selling price of fifteen pence and one hundred twenty five rupees. Now we can see that it is clear that we are having a gain, gain of rupees what twenty five one twenty five minus hundred. That means rupees twenty five. Now we can find out the gain percent. Formula gain upon CP into hundred. That means twenty five upon hundred into hundred percent. Cancel out this hundred and hundred. Twenty five percent gain. Clear, all of you? Yes, sir. So my answer is correct, but I have done in like this. I have cut it hundred and twelve uh, with two, and then 
I just multiplied it, so my answer came 25. I don't know. I'm checking I, it. CP of 1 pen rupee 1, CP of 15 pen rupees 15, CP of 12 pens rupees 12, SP of 12 pens is equal to CP of 15 pens. Okay, so 15 rupees gain 15 minus 12, 3 rupees. Correct. Correct. Absolutely right. Method is correct. Okay. Sir, I'm not opening my camera because I'll get disconnected. Like I've, it's taking time to join. Mm -hmm. Sir, we're now starting with question number 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 is very easy. Let's start it. Nothing new in the question, but still we will do it. So this is a word problem, which is simple based upon based on a on the formula, formula based word problem. All of you start trying question 10. So which question? Just um, question ten. So we will not do eight. No, beta eighth one you can try in homework. Same as question seven. Okay. So why everybody is saying about the question number eight only? Why is he and then Sara? You can try question eight in homework. Okay, all of you. Excuse me, sir. Yes. So are you saying something? No, no, I'm saying uh, you can try question eight in homework. Okay. Okay. So this one is very Are you all doing question 10? Yeah. Have you all done it? It is easy. Can be done easily. I'm just uh, all, so I'm just doing the equation. So done. Sir, the answer came to zero zero zero. That means twenty thousand. Okay. So I'm just sending on the group. You may check. Okay. I will check it. Send it. Question number ten. It is saying yes, that on selling a sofa for rupees twenty one thousand six hundred selling price. Uh, may you please wait for one minute? So yes. Yes, beta. Yes, yes, yes. You can do. Gain of eight percent. For how much did he purchase it? We have to find the CP. CP SP into hundred upon a hundred plus gain percentage.
So, but I have used the formula CP is equal to 100 upon 100 plus gain percent into CP. So, the formula number it will be SP. It will be SP, not CP. Sir, I have done one thing different, sir. What I did is a by mistake. I'm, I have done with 100 into CP. Like I have written that 100 upon 100 no, gain percent no, into CP. is written. not given, so we have to find SP in that. Beta so SP is. Card. Listen, listen, so Sara. So Sara, Sara, Sara. Ha, ha. SP is given, so you will use this formula. CP, which I have written on the board. Okay. Sir, that's correct. Sanya, it is correct. Okay, sir. It is the same thing. So, 100000000. 0. 100 upon 108 into 21600. So, when you divide 21600 by 108, you will get 200. 200 into 100 is 20,000. Yes, sir, 20,000. This is the CP. One of the easiest questions. So which one we will do next? Question 12. Question 12 is saying that on selling a calculator for rupees 1325, now there are two cases. Case 1. SP1. He sold a calculator. There is a shopkeeper. He sold a calculator for rupees 1325. In the question, there are two cases, different cases. He gained, he got a gain G1. Gain of rupees, of sorry, gain percentage of 6%. Okay. 6% gain. And now they are asking in the second case that for how much he should have sold it to gain not 6%, in fact, 12%. You want it to have a gain of 12%. Okay. So for this, in the second case, we don't know CP, SP, nothing. We have to find SP. This is clear. That we have to find the selling price in the second case. SP2. Ki kitane ka bech te ti 12% gain ho jata. Am I right? You have to read, the question, read the question carefully. No, not double of this. So, what we will do, what we will do from the first case, we will find out the CP. And then we will use this CP in the second case to find out SP. Clear or not? Yes, from the sir. first case, we will find out CP. CP is the same in both the cases. So, we will find out the CP from the first case and we will use this CP to find out SP in the second case. Clear? All of you? Yes. Let's find out CP. The formula of CP is 100 upon 100 plus 6, 100 plus gain percent into SP. So 1, 3, 2, 5. Am I right? This is only the formula to find CP. Yeah. So when I'm solving my answer is coming 2000 or 2650. 2640. So 50. 50. Okay. So maybe they have just. No, beta. No. That's not, not correct, Sarah. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm just doing it. So this is on dividing by. 
टू वी गेट फिफ्टी हेयर एंड फिफ्टी थ्री हेयर इज दिस नंबर डिविजिबल बाय फिफ्टी थ्री रिमाइंडर ओके करेक्ट 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 सो फिफ्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज वन टू फाइव जीरो रुपीज दिस इज द सी पी Now this CP will be used in the second part to find the SP. We now know the CP. CP is rupees one two five zero. So SP two formula is hundred plus gain upon hundred into CP one two five zero. So one one two upon hundred into one two five zero. Cancel the zero. Ten divided by five is two. Twenty-five. Twelve divided by two is fifty-six. Fifty-six into twenty-five. Twenty-five into six is one fifty. Fifteen plus one twenty-five, one forty. Rupees fourteen hundred. This should be the selling price. Fourteen hundred should be the selling price. If you sold, if he would have sold the product, what was the product? Calculator. If he if he would have sold the calculator for rupees fourteen hundred, then he would have gained twelve percent. Understood, all of you. Yes, sir. So same steps uh, like I told you in the beginning of the question. you find out the cp from the first case and use that cp to find out the selling price in the second case so it is a combination of two questions okay if you combine two questions you will easily get the answer of this question okay. in the end you can write down a statement okay If the shopkeeper would have sold the calculator for rupees fourteen hundred, he would have gained twelve percent. Okay, so let's start with question fourteen now. Thirteen is similar to this one, same in fact. Okay, so we are going to do fourteenth. Have you all done this? Noted in your copy. Yes. Let's start question fourteen. So it means like whenever we are going to do any shop, so sir they are selling us with the profit, like the real price is something else. We are mm. always giving the price is the high amount. Obviously, so, like, even if you sell. are going to have a shop, you will also buy it for less and sell it for more, right? So, so, so that so if we will buy at that rate and we will sell at that rate, so so we so how we can earn something? Hmm. Okay. Question fourteen. A tricycle is sold at a gain for fifteen percent. Tricycle is sold at a gain of fifteen percent. Had it been sold for rupees one hundred eight more. the profit would have been 20% okay find its cost price okay so here uh, there was a tricycle it was originally sold at a gain of g1 of 15% okay and if it would have been sold for rupees 108 extra then the gain would have been g2 would have been 
okay so what is the difference in gain percent from hair to hair what is the difference it is am i right it is 5% or not so 5% 5% percentage difference from first case to second case 5% extra gain we are getting am i right but this 5% extra gain we are getting for how much amount it is given in the question for how much amount we are getting this 5% extra gain we are getting this 5% extra gain for rupees 108 extra extra rupees 108 am i right if the product is sold for rupees 108 extra then you would have got 5% extra gain am i right or not this is the question 5% this is yes. given in the question right so here can i say that 5% of the cp 5% of the cp is 108 only then we say this yes. because agar 5% extra mein sell karenge to humko 108 rupees extra badhane padenge in the cost price sorry in the price of the product so 5% of cp is equal to 108 okay so we have got the equation 5 upon 100 this, this is a very easy question there is a there is some other ways or there are some other ways also of doing the question which are a bit lengthy this is a uh, very simple to solve but you have to use a little more brain for this one okay simple logic you have to use the you have to think about it what is the logic of the question for getting an extra 5% gain we are increasing the price extra how much 108 rupees extra okay so that means 5% of cost price is equal to 108 okay i hope the equation is clear yes. so cp so, is equal to 108 into 100 upon 5 so when you simplify 20 into 108 you get 2160 rupees answer this is the cost price yahi pucha tha question what is its cost cost price <clears throat> clear yes sir so please wait for a 60 second and i'll complete the question hmm. Uh, do we have an extra class? Do we have extra class? Extra class, maybe. I will tell you by evening. संदीप सोल्ड टेलीविजन एट अ लॉस ऑफ एट परसेंट सो इन दिंग देर वॉज अ लॉस ऑफ एट परसेंट but he wanted to sell it uh, if he had sold it for rupees 3360 more jitne ka sell kiya usse 3360 extra ka sell karta he would have gained 6% then the gain would have been 6% to so originally he sold it for 8% but he would have gained 
he sold it at a loss of 8% originally but he wanted to sell it sell it at a gain of 6% so what is the difference from here to here in percentage so two not two 14% for two so what we are going from 8% loss to 6% gain yes, loss se gain mein ja rahe hain to pehle to hmm लॉस से जीरो तक पहुंचने के लिए एट परसेंट एंड फ्रेंड जीरो देन जीरो से सिक्स परसेंट गेन तक पहुंचने के लिए सिक्स परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा सो एट प्लस सिक्स फोर्टीन परसेंट आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट और नॉट दिस इज द डिफरेंस इन द क्वेश्चन इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ही वाज गोइंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन परसेंट गेन टू ट्वेंटी गेन तो बहुत ईजी था बताना फाइव का डिफरेंस है बट हेयर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस फ्रॉम एट परसेंट लॉस टू सिक्स परसेंट गेन द डिफरेंस इज ऑफ फोर्टीन clear or not what is the gap the gap is of 14% 14 okay and he will get 14% extra if he so had sold it for rupees kitna extra rupees 3360 extra money if he would have sold it for this much extra price he would have got 14% extra so we have got the equation 14% of CP is equal to three three six zero. So CP is equal to three three six zero into hundred upon fourteen. Do the simplification. Fourteen se cut kar dete hain sidhe. Fourteen two the twenty eight. Remainder five fifty six fourteen four the fifty six. Zero. So two four zero 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 for price twenty four thousand. Clear? Is there any doubt in the question? No, sir. No doubt. No doubt. No. So we are going to do this chapter till here only. The rest of the questions are on repeated concepts. There is nothing much new. Only five six questions more are left. Okay. So. you will we have covered all the concepts till question number 15 okay so you will in your exam you will get till here only okay from this chapter profit and loss clear all of you so we will not get percentage percentage you will get we are going to do percentage from maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow in extra class or maybe on monday so means in percentage so we are getting uh, so getting questions till here only in profit and loss you are getting till here only in profit and loss yes clear yes sir so now i'm tired doing math 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 from to clear we have done too many questions in the last two periods right yes sir and that two of profit and loss hmm zyada dimag laga liya okay so can you all i'm not doing anything new so just uh, i am I'm, i'm asking you to do a question let's try question 8 all of you question 8 is same as question 7 Try it, everyone. Question eight on your own. Try. And post it in the group after doing it. Okay, sir.
Sunny, I'm checking your answer. CP of one spoon would be one. CP of 15 spoon would be 15. CP of 16 spoons would be 16. SP of 16 spoons is given CP of 15 spoons. So SP equal to 15 rupees, correct? SP 15 and CP 16, therefore loss. So P1 loss, absolutely right, 6.25, very good, correct answer. Are doing the fifth question. So which question? Fifth after doing the eighth one. Do the fifth one. So eight one done and ten. Okay, so the... very good. Sara. Thank you, sir. Correct answer. 